Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 3D Now. My name is Jack and in this video, I'm going to be looking at Fibrology Hips 3D Printer Filament. So hopping right into the video, Fibrology is a high quality Polish filament manufacturer and they focus on perfecting their filaments as they only create 7 materials instead of creating say 20 materials with 10 colors each. They really want to focus on and nail down to create the most high quality and perfected material possible. So as I said, they only have seven materials. These are ABS, fiber wood, HDPLA, Easy PLA, fiber flex, hips, and PLA mineral. So I was lucky enough to get a spool of hips material from them. Hips stands for high impact polystyrene, and this comes in natural, white, graphite, and black. And it can be used as both a support material and a base. So it's kind of a special, unique material. People can use it as either a base to just print out of, or they can use it as support for a model and use a special chemical to dissolve away the hips and leave your base remaining. So all the filament spools come in a 0.85 kilogram spool, comes in a 1.75 millimeter diameter, and this hips material that I have, the whole spool costs around $45, and that's actually a really good deal for what you get. So one of the cool things about the Fibrology filament is that it comes in this really cool modern spool. And I have to say, this filament is spooled absolutely perfectly. If you look closely, every strand is right next to the other and there's not one filament overlapping the next, which actually helps a lot while printing as it's less likely to jam up the printer as the filament gets stuck on itself. So one of the cool features about this HIPS material is that it creates a light matte finish and it can also be polished. So as you can see on some of my prints, that has a super, super light matte color finish. It's not shiny, but it has a soft touch. And also you can use different finishing techniques and polish it. So the tolerance on this filament is 0.02 millimeters and the print temp on hips is pretty high. It's 230 to 245C on the extruder and 80 to 100C on the bed. And with this, you can actually print pretty fast because you're melting it at such a high rate. But I found out with my testing is that to make the layers stick to each other, it's recommended to turn off your fan, to use an enclosed printer. So as you see, I'm using a bag for my printer and not using the open environment that my CR10 has. And also you need pretty good bed adhesion. So with my glass bed, the print wouldn't stick. So I had to put some painter's tape down some glue or rubbing alcohol over it to make the print stick. So this isn't the easiest material to print, but the result and the finish on your prints is absolutely amazing. So as you can see on my first print, I had some layer separation. That was because I used the printer in an open environment, printed directly on my glass bed, and I had my cooling fan on so the layers wouldn't stick to the next layer fast enough and they would peel away from each other. So when you're printing this HIPS material, there is a slight odor. It's kind of like printing ABS, so you might want to have some ventilation while printing HIPS material. Also from my prints, I could tell that this was a strong material, but it's actually surprisingly lightweight. All the prints are super light, but they feel nice and strong. I have this really cool matte finish. So moving on to my test prints, I printed two gnomes. The first one was a test print and it didn't come out very nice. But once I added the enclosure, turned off my cooling fan and used painter's tape on my bed, the second gnome came out absolutely fantastic. The next print was a bunny and this printed at a speed of 55. And this came out absolutely fantastic. The graphite color finish is absolutely amazing. And the matte surface feels nice and soft and it's super, super lightweight. So next I printed a Graphica Ghost this had a moving part in it, the tongue pops out. So I wanted to see if the moving parts would work after the print finished, and yes it does. And the tongue comes out nice and smoothly. And finally, I printed an Omnom. This was a nice quick print. I printed this pretty fast speed of 65 millimeters per second. And again, the matte surface finish is absolutely amazing. With only two perimeters, you couldn't see any of the infill at all. So wrapping this video up, this is a fantastic material. I highly recommend it. I'll put a link down below if you wanna check this material out or buy some thanks for watching this video guys please give a thumbs up subscribe for more videos like this comment down below i'll answer every single question and i'll see you guys in the next video